it's clear that a lot of investors uh, see this as a very big leap. And I understand and it, why they believe so, because Utilsat for the last um, four, five, six years have been a company with very high cash flows, paying out very high dividend yields to our investors. So naturally, we have an investor base that's been used to a high dividend and a high yield and are seeing Utilsat as a relatively mature infrastructure business. With this move, uh, we're moving the joint company of OneWeb and Utilsat much more into the high growth tech space area. We're announcing that we'll pause dividend for a couple of years. And we also announced we'll need to invest CapEx around seven, eight hundred million annually, coming up from around three to four hundred million annually. So it's a very big shift in what we have been discussing with our investors. Yes, we had the first investment in OneWeb up 23%. But that didn't cause a change in dividend policy, which is what we're doing now. So I fully understand that there's some there's investors that are saying, hey, wait a minute, that was not at all the deal we had going. Uh, where are you taking us? How can we understand this better? And I think we have a great task ahead of us to explain what this combination would mean and also give more information, which is a company uh, which until now has been fully privately held and probably not a lot of understanding around the the market. It's also a very complicated shareholding structure now. You have the UK government, the French government, uh, the Indian billionaire uh, Sunil Bharti Mittal, you have SoftBank. It's a lot of very complicated elements. To, so how will you manage to get everybody on board and work with all their interests on clash? First of all, I think it's a, a board that really shows that we're bringing the two companies together, bringing together both strengths. Um, the biggest shareholder will be uh, Sunil Mittal, uh, the uh, Indian telecom executive. And I think it's very important to have deep telecom expertise uh, from uh, the entire world as part uh, of uh, our shareholding. So it's very key that this whole um, turn towards connectivity is very close to the telecom world. So that makes a lot of sense from a business perspective. Then we'll have uh, two governments, the French and the UK governments, as uh, shareholders and also with each one representative on the board. And I think that also shows the big importance of the space industry uh, to um, all governments. They're also a very important customer segment for, for us. Uh, governmental and military business typically represent between 10 and 15%. So that also make a lot of sense. And then we'll have 10 independents uh, on the board uh, which I hope will represent a, a broad range of, of, of business uh, skills uh, for our board. So yes, um, a, a relatively large uh, governance, but with a majority, large majority of independents and then representatives uh, from uh, some of our largest shareholders.